Hey guys, so my friend is turning 30. Dirty 30 club. A hey, dirty 30 club. A hey, dirty 30. Why y'all be letting me turn up on my own like that? So I came up with this idea to make a coffin. But not only will it be a coffin to bury her youth of 20s, I mean her 20s, her the youth of her 20s. Am I saying that right? Anyways, what better way than for her to bring her 30th birthday in with this coffin thing that I'm gonna build her. So the coffin's not only gonna be a coffin, it's gonna be a charcuterie board. And I'm gonna do a cookie charcuterie board. Another one of her friends are bringing a salty charcuterie board. So I'm, I, I was gonna do sweet, salty and sweet. But guys, this is not gonna be any ordinary coffin. Now, when I did make this coffin, I did not film me actually building the coffin because y'all i literally was just making this up as i was going in my head i didn't measure i didn't do any blueprints well i did a blueprint in my head and then i went to my balcony pulled my saw out and i just got to cutting and that's how i came up with the coffin kind of visualized what coffin looked like in my mind and that's what i came up with after doing that i stained it um don't judge me while staining it it does look a little crazy while i'm staining because i don't really care how the stain looks because i ended up painting over it to give it like a distressed age look so i didn't really care i really did sloppy stain it and sloppy paint it because it's supposed to look old it's supposed to look like a coffin you know she's r.i.p to the 20s so i'm just going to give you a rundown in the video of me you know staining it painting it i'll go through that really quick and then i'm going to add like the um what is it that's the word I'm looking for. I'm gonna add fabric, fabric, the fabric inside to really give it that coffin feel. And then when the charcuterie board is actually on the table, I'm gonna purchase some dry ice. This is a really cool, easy, dramatic effect that you can add at parties if you guys wanna steal this idea. Get you some dry ice and you put your dry ice in a bowl and then you pour boiling hot water over it. And then it creates fog. And if you want that fog to move across the table or whatever surface, you just put a fan in there and then it gives it like this spooky cemetery feel so that's gonna be cool so when you look at my coffin you'll see like i have creases it's not combined and that's because i want that that fog to come out of those creases and make it look like you know her coffin is you know has some zombies or i don't know some cemetery activity going on up under i'm also doing a tombstone um i had my little brother cut it into somewhat of a tombstone shape I'm going to stain it as well and paint it, give it a distressed look. And then I'll add on the front of it. It will say here lies Markayla's youth. And um, I'll probably add like some flowers, a crow, something, you know, just add some suggest. But like I said, you guys will see all of that. So don't go nowhere. Stick around because I'm about to start that right now. So guys, I'm not gonna talk too much through this video. I'm just gonna pop up here and there and kind of explain little things as I'm recording. This is the bear coffin before I did anything to it. I just literally went in my closet, got my saw and brought it out and tried to bring this coffin to life with some scrap wood and this is what we have. So as you guys can see, like I said, I am sloppy stain and I'm just throwing it on there. I didn't even sand the wood before when applying the stain. And that's because I didn't really care how long it held up over time and stuff like that. This was just for her birthday party. And I just needed that base stain color underneath my white paint so that it can really have that distressed look. And you guys will see what I'm talking about here in a minute.
and you see the creases and like the cracks where the wood is not united together that's where i want my fog to come out of so i purposely built it like that so it can have that dramatic effect i had fun doing this guys because i was able to be sloppy and i didn't have to perfect anything because i was going for that distressed old beat up look And if you notice, I didn't paint the inside or stain it. And that's because we're going to take that fabric and we're going to put the fabric on the inside, which I'll show you here in a second. And that's really going to kind of give it that coffin feel. So here I'm just lining the inside of the coffin with fabric and y'all this material is really giving coffin vibes. Y'all can't tell me this don't look like a coffin on the inside. Okay guys, so things are really about to come together now. Here you see me adding what's supposed to be a tombstone. It was a spare piece of wood that I had as well, along with all the rest of this spare wood. I just painted it black, used my Cricut to print out the font on the back and added some flowers and the skull to really bring it all together. Okay guys, so this was the final look. Off camera, I did add this top piece to it. I'm gonna have food on the inside of it and I didn't wanna be ghetto and put like no cling wrap to cover the cookies and treats inside while transporting it. Now the smoke you see coming out the bottom, that's actually the dry ice. And again, all I did was put dry ice in a little plastic container and add hot water and it gave a fog effect. When dealing with dry ice, guys, you wanna be extremely, extremely careful. When I got to the party, I actually decided to do something a little different with the fog. It really wasn't given enough fog for me, so I set it up a little bit differently, which I will show you guys at the end. And also for the cover, all I did was take a piece of styrofoam board, add some fabric over it, and then I added the floral section in the middle of that cover to make it really look like a coffin with flowers on top. So this was the final look I decided to go with. I did the fog outside of the coffin, as you can see. I had a lantern and I tried to put it inside the lantern, but it wasn't, it wasn't working the way I planned. Overall, we did our thing though. Everything came out extremely cute.
This theme was also oh cute. Everything turned out really, really cute, and I had a great time. Here's just a snippet of us giving our final goodbyes to her 20s. All right, PTO youth, honey. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all of the goodness we have to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.